And welcome to That Oil Show. And um, I hope that you're enjoying your young living oil journey so far. So today we're going to be talking about our oil infused life. And where do we go from getting our first oils and learning how to use them? Where do we go from there? Before I continue in that though, I last, uh, last episode, I actually forgot to mention this. Um, the difference in our labels. Oh. And so, you know, we're going to be sharing things about the oils that you might need to know, um, things that you can put on your wish list for your future or orders. Um, but to get started, I just wanted to let you know, you may see different colors of labels. So here's peppermint, two different peppermint bottles. One is peppermint vitality and one is peppermint. <laughs> And it's the same oil in both bottles. So a lot of people ask me, Sarah, why is there a Vitality? Why is there different colored labels? Well, the governing, uh, U.S. governing bodies. bodies, all the different governing bodies have different rules for supplement companies, for um, cosmetic companies, for, you know, who Young Living is as a supplement company, and they have products for personal care usage, so that falls under cosmetics. And so um, they have said um, that they would like Young Living to label the bottles. Um, the supplements can only be labeled for internal usage, and cosmetics um, can only be labeled for topical or aromatic usage. And of course, our oils are much more than cosmetics or just perfume or fragrance. But for all intents and purposes, this is what the governing authorities um, you know, had told Young Living to do. And sometimes the rules change. Sometimes, you know, so, so we may see over time some different labels. I know we've had a couple of newer blends that have come out in the past year that had all three uses back on the label, just like it did once upon a time. Um, but, but regardless, it's the same amazing oil, oil in both of these bottles, the peppermint. I can use it internally, topically, and aromatically. And yeah. so... I just don't worry about that. What's nice for me is like, here's a little bottle that's easier to travel with. Right? Right? Here's a bigger <laughs> bottle um, that, I'll, that I'll refill, you know, my small bottles with. And so, anyway. That's I what that it was, boils down yeah, to for me, too. It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, look, it's look, much smaller. Yeah. And I don't throw these away because um, I don't, it's technically more cost effective to use the bigger bottle, to buy the bigger bottles. So I just refill those. That's right. Yeah. Keep right? The small and if you keep the and small just, ones yeah. and you okay, share, yeah. you want to mm -hmm. share oils with somebody, you can grab one of your little small bottles and put some oil in that and share it. Yep. So you have to share your big bottle. Unless you just want to be right. super generous. Yeah. But. So I always keep all yeah. of my bottles. I just do. And I find new uses for them. Well, And you can create your own blends, keep the bottles and, and create blends with them. Mm -hmm. um, and Or use them to create a blend. And then you can be quicker to go through and fill your diffusers with if there's something you want to diffuse. So... Absolutely. That's a good it's, tip. Yeah. It's, that really, is a really, good it's tip. really good to be able to have those on hand. You just never know when you might use them. I, I have a labeler. Um, there's all kinds of labelers out there, and I'm, I like being organized and have labels. But whenever I'm finding a recipe that somebody has shared with me or that I find in one of our amazing Young Living specific um, books, reference guides, um, I will use a bottle of an empty bottle of an oil that's listed in that recipe yes yeah. right because <laughs> yes. i don't personally yeah. i don't wash my bottles out because it's right. like ooh, i know there's got to be one drop in here and i don't <laughs> right. want to waste anything save it for later yeah. right so if i found a recipe that peppermint is one of the oils in that yeah. recipe i'll get an empty um peppermint bottle that probably still has some residue and then i'll make that recipe in my peppermint bottle and then i put a label on here and it's like you know, Sarah's muscle blend yeah. or... I have one right now. It says skin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For Joshua, my first blend that I ever put together was for my son Joshua, and it was ears. <laughs> it was his ear blend. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so anyway, those are some really quick tips. But, you know, moving from 
getting placing your very first order with Young Living, after that, you know, so many people ask, well, what do I need next? I know that was my thought is like, oh my goodness, I have a wish list because I've been looking through the catalog or I've been looking through my reference guides and making a wish list. So, okay, here's a, a oils that I need to start adding to my collection. And so one of the most cost-effective things that you could eat, ever do is get uh, on loyalty rewards with Young Living. Absolutely. So, yeah, loyalty rewards is Young Living's, um, it's basically a monthly subscription. Um, it's your wellness box, so to speak, that you will get every month that you totally customize to whatever you're needing for your health and wellness. And in your first three consecutive months on with a 50 PB order or more, you get 10% back in loyalty rewards points that you can save up and then cash in on free product, on, on the things that you're needing. Um, month four through 24, it bumps to 20% that you're getting back on your loyalty rewards order to spend on free products. Then after two years, month 25 and beyond, you're getting 25% back. It is the most amazing value. There's also free gifts they give you at month three, six, nine, and 12. And um, there's just so many perks. There's monthly perks of free gifts with purchase um, when you place a loyalty rewards order over certain amounts. And so Young Living is always yes. making yeah. our products so mm -hmm. cost effective and, and helping us get the things that we need. But I remember when I, I got started July 2006, um, I placed a second order that month and it was my first time on loyalty rewards. And um, I've been on loyalty rewards 200 and Over 10. 200, by the time yeah. this airs, I don't even know, <laughs> 210 plus months in a row, mm -hmm. I've gotten thousands and thousands of dollars of free yes. product. Yes. But I was needing um, particular oils. I was needing Melrose. I was needing Digize back then, didn't come in any of the starter kits. Um, and so I saw this kit, it's sitting right here, the Golden Touch One kit. And it's got Thieves, RC, Raven, Digize, Melrose, Indoflex, Juvaflex, and all, the, I mean, these are all amazing blends that every home needs. Yes. So Golden Touch One is a play on mom's Golden Touch. So it's kind of like what a mom would want in her wellness chest at all times. And anyway, all those oils is like, oh, I think I need all of those things. But it was so much more cost effective for me to get it in, in a collection. Kit. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So so what so what what did y'all what's your favorite collection that, that Young Living has? Well I love to tell people about the feelings kit. Um, I I love everything that's in this Kit, but it's really great when you get put it on loyalty rewards because individually purchasing these oils, you could do that, but you're going to have, you're going to spend about $71 additionally, $70 more whenever you buy them individually versus if you put them when they get in the kit. So there's a huge, huge savings when you buy it as a kit, then you put it on loyalty rewards and you get points for it. So it's the different oils. Um, I love, of course, Valor's in there. Mm -hmm. um, it has Harmony, but Present Time, which contains a very exquisite oil called Neroli. Um, and Present Time is one that I keep in my pocket or keep with me. Um, with a child with special needs, it really helps to kind of bring us back to center. And um, not just him, but also myself to remind me, we're okay, we're right here in this moment, and it's all gonna be okay. Um, God is with you. And so, um, but I love, I've heard so many testimonies um, about this kit. I heard so many testimonies, and that's why I decided I wanted to have it in my home so I could have that arsenal to, we, we talk a lot about the physical, but the emotional aspect of our health and wellness, I wanted my family to be strong when it came to emotional wellness. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wendy, how is a chemist like a lab party? I don't know. Well, some drop the acid, but some drop the base. I'm Wendy. And I'm Talia. And this, this is, is a science, science highlight. Seed to Seal is an industry-defining commitment to our products. Our Seed to Seal quality commitment serves our planet and ensures the highest quality standards. Gary Young developed our five-step seed to seal sourcing standards, insisting on premium quality at every stage of seed, 
cultivation, distillation, testing, and sealing. Science is the cornerstone of what we do at Young Living. We use cutting edge methods to develop new products and to ensure the quality of every product that arrives at your door. We have a state of the art lab with some of the most advanced and coolest scientific equipment available. While our product quality starts in the fields, it's proven in our state-of-the-art labs. Our rigorous research institute and quality program are staffed with more than 50 highly trained, highly skilled scientists who use advanced testing methods to help ensure that products meet our lofty standards. The quality control team uses a minimum of 21 physical, chemical, and microbiological tests to measure the exact components and properties of our essential oils. And each test is repeated multiple times before that oil leaves the warehouse. The lab occupies approximately 5,000 square feet and runs between 75 to 125 samples a day. Within the laboratory, there are more than 150 pieces of equipment used to test the physical, chemical, microbial, and organoleptic composition of Young Living products. Each raw oil is sent to our quality control lab for identity, composition, and purity testing. We run four different identity tests, FRIR spectroscopy, which analyzes an oil by its function, components like ketones, aldehydes, and alcohols and refractive index testing measures the bending of light as it passes through an oil. Optical rotation measures how much polarized light rotates through an oil, which tells the chirality of the oil and tells if the oil has been adulterated. Chirality is when you have two different oils that are mirror images of each other, like your hands. A right chiral rotates light to the right, and the left chiral rotates light to the left. When placed one over the other, they don't match up. They only match up as mirror images. Two examples of chiral oils are dill and spearmint. They have the exact same formula on paper, but they smell very, very different. Specific gravity is the last identity test. Specific gravity measures how dense a substance is by comparing it to water. Next is composition testing. The results of composition testing is compared to a library that contains over 400,000 components. This includes GC, or gas chromatography. The GC separates the components of an oil by composition. The GC, IRMS, is the gas chromatography isotope mass spectrometry. The test identifies how much of each component is in the oil and tells whether it's from nature or synthetic. Ultra high performance liquid chromatography determines the active ingredients in products including B vitamins, Ninja Nitro, and Ninja Zing. Purity testing is determined by GC, optical rotation, ICPMS, microbiological and peroxide value testing. These tests ensure the purity of the oil is held to the highest standard. ICPMS is used to identify heavy metals like arsenic, lead, and mercury. This test can detect heavy metals down to the 0.1 parts per billion level. That's like if you had a traffic jam from Ohio to California and you needed to find the one car that didn't belong. Microbiological testing looks for microbial components present and peroxide value determines any oxidation that has occurred in the product. Other tests include densitometry, viscometry, refractometry, olfactometry, spectroscopy, automated microenumeration, accelerated stability testing, pH, combustibility, flashpoint, and water activity. And more. <laughs> <laughs> Once the raw materials have been approved by quality control, it's then handed off to be bottled. After bottling, the final product is sent back to the quality control department and retested in their final packaging to ensure no contamination has occurred in the production process. Every time you open a bottle of oil from Young Living, you can breathe easy and rest assured that you have all this science and testing in the palm of your hand. Hey, Smoothie Queen. Hey, Laura. Jean. I love you. I wanted you to try my new smoothie recipe. Since you're so good at them, you do them all the time, I want you to learn this because it's a new, it's a game changer. And I want to learn it because 
there's not enough smoothie recipes no. in my arsenal. So well, I doubt that, but <laughs> I want to add this one to your arsenal. So Perfect. have you ever made a cup of hot tea and you're so excited to enjoy that mm -hmm. and just be nourished mm -hmm. by it and mm -hmm. then life happens and mm. everybody else needs you and then it's two o'clock in the afternoon and you didn't get your morning tea. And it's cold. It is. But I was determined I was not going to let my beautiful spiced turmeric herbal tea from Young Living go to waste. Okay. So I took my tea and I said, it's afternoon. I need a little pick me up because I do not want that crash in the afternoon. Right. I don't want to just eat a bunch of carbs and be, have no energy. So I wanted right. some little pr protein pick me up. So I go. thought, let's combine it with this new, beautiful, pure protein, complete vanilla spice, no added sugars, and then some frozen bananas for a little Perfect. texture. Yes. And you're going to love it. Okay, okay. so I'm going to let you make it. Okay, I'm so excited. So All pour, right. pour the tea. Okay, and so tea into tea in, into this. And I do it in a smaller serve. I kind of measure everything in here because if nobody... There's nothing worse than making an entire blender full of a smoothie that is for one person is too much. You could right. always pour it into popsicle Perfect. containers yep. or if you have a myriad this is of neighbors. Just a great to share little with. single serving. Single serving. Perfect. Okay, frozen bananas. And okay. that is, those are four little pieces. That's about half a banana. Okay. I peel my bananas and then I quarter them, freeze them. It makes great texture. Perfect. Um, then you're, you want coconut milk. A coconut milk. And how like much that. am I going to be putting in here? Just kind of eyeball it, but usually okay. eight, eight to 10 ounces. Okay. It's about the same. And depending on the thickness that you want, um, the smoothie to have, right. there you go. All right. It's, it's a pretty color already. It is. And then two scoops. Okay. Let's do this over here. Let me move. Of the protein complete. Pure protein complete, which it's vanilla spice. So it's going to give you additional little added spice to that that spice turmeric and then if you want to add other oils that's great too i like a little bit more cinnamon in my banana bread which okay. um, is not traditional in the in the turmeric spice so you've got that there do we just pour it all in pour that pour it in pour there it all in. excellent and then we'll put this on Get it going. We're gonna hit our buttons here. Let me. There we go. The nice thing about the nice thing about those frozen bananas mm -hmm. is you get them in small enough chunks, and then they don't take as long to blend. So that's perfect. They're really, really frozen. It might take a minute. You might have little chunky bananas yes. too, but. I like the banana, it's a staple in our Look house. Look at that, even looks like banana bread batter. It does. So it's kind of like we're eating batter. I love batter. Yes. I love cookie dough, I love all the things. You love the batters? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake this up for you. Okay. Now let me just say, I did make a smoothie similar to this, but I added bergamot oil. Ooh. And the bergamot oil is, if you like Earl Grey tea, it is actually the ingredients in the Earl Grey tea, so I added that to it, and it's very soothing. Ooh. So you can very add nice. a bunch of. I have some bergamot there if you want to try you? it too. Okay, let what me do you think? let me try this Without. just by itself. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Is it? Did it got? It's got I the see banana bread the vibe. The banana, the spice. And the, let me just say, I know we talked about this before, but the banana does not overpower that spice that's even in the protein complete. Plus, it is amazing with the chai. Mm -hmm. And that would make yeah. good pop popsicles for the kids. Here's another thing. I've also, you can put, you can add things to it. So the bananas for little kids are usually well received. So adding, I've added Ningxia greens. Mm. Um, you could do your ICP I could totally daily. Yep. You could do your inner beauty collagen and get that extra added in. And it's good for anybody. I'm yeah. so glad the Smoothie Queen likes it. Let me just say, <laughs> this is the most amazing banana bread smoothie I've ever had. Like banana bread. Is it the only banana smoothie? bread yeah. smoothie you've ever had? But that's okay. You make it too. We want to hear what your favorite smoothie recipes are because the Smoothie Queen needs to add to her arsenal. Yeah. Sometimes the oils that come in the, in the kits well, most of the time when they come in the kits, they come in five milliliter bottles. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can't get 
certain oils in five milliliter size unless they're in a kit, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Like, so Joy is only available right now as the, you know, the airing of this is only available 15 mil, but if you get it, you know, in the kit, it comes in five. So then you have that. You have that little travel size. the little travel size bottle to take with you <laughs> yes. and you keep with you, you know, put it in your pocket, put it in your purse. Um, and so that makes it more convenient as That's well. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Cause I do love those travel sizes yep. ones. Yeah. You know, my first kit, um, when I came in, I came in, Sarah is my upline, but I'm actually under her mom, Karen Hopkins. And Karen was traveling at, when we came in all over the world doing raindrops on everybody. And so raindrop was actually the first kit that I got because she was doing raindrops and she taught me raindrops and I need to do raindrops. And this is, you know, my kids were giving me raindrops. So they were interesting, interesting raindrops from children, but they still worked. So <laughs> yep. I, this is my favorite kit. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to, you know, any of these kits, when you open it up, it's like, Oh, there's so many things in there. Oh, and the, but there's like nine oils in there. They're all kind of messed up, but they dance. They were so dancing. So much. There's so much value in each of these boxes. Anybody else have a favorite? I'd like to say it comes with instructions. Yes, oh, yes I think because if you like, oh, what do I do with that kit? Oh my gosh, right? they come yep. with they, instructions yes. on how to use the oils with yes. them. Yes, that's Very right. Good. And Very the great good. thing about the raindrop is because they come in the five mils, you can buy the 15 milliliters to refill them. That's mm -hmm. right. More yes. cost effective that way. But then oh, you yes. also get the large, the ortho ease and the, yeah. the Yes, um, I was going to say, this comes with the whole ortho ease and the whole V6, you know, so. Yeah, you should start with the raindrop kit. If you're going to do raindrops, you're going to learn raindrops, you should start with the kit. Yes. And then after you run out, you start refilling with the bigger bottles. With the bigger bottles, yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. And more information about our raindrop, um, check out season two, episode six. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> you can learn a lot more about the raindrop and why we all absolutely love, love it. Love, love, love. Now, for me, as I was on Loyalty Rewards and getting all of these Loyalty Rewards points, which, by the way, I know a lot of times as people are new, they're like, what does points mean? What does PV mean? Um, PV is your personal volume. And so with, it, with any given product, it has you know, your wholesale, the retail price, the wholesale price, and, and PV, personal volume. I always like to think of it in my mind, even though this is an official point value. And so for most of the products, it's wholesale dollars are equivalent to however many PV. Well, the PV, the uh, personal volume, is how they determine how, you know, how many loyalty rewards points you're gonna get back um, and accumulate. So on loyalty rewards, if I've got, you know, say a, a $10 bottle of oil and I've been on loyalty rewards for over two years, I'm getting, you know, 25% back. So that's what, $2.50. Um, I should have used a bigger example. I know, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, that's where those, those loyalty rewards points are PV points that you're going to mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. And so, but as you accumulate those, then you get to cash them in on products. So the first thing that I cashed in my points for was the um, Oils of Ancient Scripture. Yes. 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 How many of y'all did that? Bible yes. Oils. Yes. I did. And so here, Hammy, I, I would love to. So yes, this, so this is so precious. It's, t it's 10 oils um, mentioned in the Bible very often mentioned in the Bible. And a lot of these oils are very rare. Um, they come from plants that are low oil yielding. So they're more costly when you purchase them individually, but in the collection, they're such a great value. But even so, the, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, I don't want to say how do you put it? How do you put a price you on that? You can't put a price that. on that. Right. But I was so glad to be on loyalty rewards and have those points so that I got mine for free. And so I've gotten so many free oils of ancient scripture kits. And um, I love to teach this class, but oh my goodness, from frankincense and myrrh. And I mean, this was definitely 
top on my wish list, and I was so thankful for loyalty rewards so that I could get this in my hands. And you can order some of these oils separately, but this is the only place that you're going to get these awesome gold labels. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's true. They're gorgeous, I and love them. and you can only get Onica in here. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we do have Cassia in um, a single bottle, but. I'm trying to pop this one out. Right. But cassia, mm -hmm. oh my word, is amazing. And this is one that does happen to taste a little sweet to me, but it's yes. super, super hot. But it's like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And um, but anyway, I need cassia mm -hmm. and it comes in this kit. Right. <laughs> so anyway, so how what about everybody else? What was your first products that you that you got with your points? I'm gonna say I first got, well, not with the points, but I want to go back to this is the first kit I got. And because I liked it so much, I got another kit for a family member. And uh, for me, my whole thing was I was a new mom. I shouldn't say I was a super new mom, but I was a new mom to how to take care of my kids with alternative ways. <laughs> And so um, I wanted it to be healthier. I wanted to put um, things on their bodies that were a lot more gentle than what I had been. And um, so for me, this kit was such a lifesaver to me. Um, I felt empowered. I felt equipped. Um, also, I know Sarah, she was my upline. Uh, she gave me a, a, a particular book. And this particular book, um, told me exactly what I needed for that particular thing that we were addressing at home. And it just, it was so awesome. Me as a mom, I just felt like, you know what, I can do this. Um, my kids can be well and they can live really, really energetic lives. And um, so anyways, I absolutely love that because every oil hits on something at home. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I love that kit. I love to give a challenge um, to each new person that starts to use the Young Living Essential Oils. Whatever collection that you start with, whatever oils you start with, um, my challenge is to use it every day. Find a way to yep. use it every single day. Um, get a wonderful reference book and learn about that oil and find a way to use it every single day. There may be some oils you're like, why would I use that every day? But you know what? There are so many benefits that it would probably shock you of how much it helps you, not only physically, but again, we've already mentioned emotionally as well, yes. um, mentally to help with focus, um, and also for just our wellness with our immune system and just various body systems. And I would say too that most, that all of these kits are very well researched. So when they put these together, it's with a lot of thought and it's with, um, so like for instance, this kit, um, the Golden Touch, you know, it has um, Juvaflex and Melrose and RC, Digize Raven, Thieves, and Endoflex Vitality. And so these, all of these oils um, can affect your health in different ways, right? And some of them, I remember when I got, so this, when I first signed up, I got the starter kit, which is not this beautiful starter kit. <laughs> I didn't get a diffuser or anything, but um, I remember when the kits came out with diffusers, I immediately bought one of those because right. great value. <laughs> I was like, yes, another diffuser. Um, but then, but I got this kit too. And I remember going in and reading, because I was like, Juvaflex, what is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. And it helped me to understand, oh, this is important for health too. So if I'm, you know, if I'm wanting to affect my health, I need to understand how each of these can work together to help my health as a whole, not just, well, I'm just going to target this thing, you know, yeah. this little piece over here. And I would say the feelings kit's probably very similar. Um, it's, it, it will affect your emotions on a lot of different scales and a lot of different mm. access points, I guess you could say. What things maybe you wouldn't think of. Um, so, so, so don't get a kid and just use one oil out right, of it. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. read all about all of them right. and then use them all. For example, in that Golden Touch One um, kit, we've got JuvaFlex for the liver yes. to support the liver. Mm -hmm. We've got Endoflex, and that supports the whole endocrine, endocrine system, system, including your thyroid to um, goodness sakes, your your pituitary gland and uh, pineal gland, just all the different glands. And so, and then you've got 
RC and Raven that are so good for just your lungs, opening up your lungs and breathing nice and deep. And then Thieves for supporting the immune system. And, um, and then Melrose is another really good one that's um, it's really, it's mild. I remember for my baby, for Joshua, he was a baby at the time, um, toddler, um, I used Melrose like I would have used Thieves just because I knew it was really gentle and he had sensitive skin. And so um, I used Melrose in, in, for that. And then also the Diagize and like mm -hmm. everybody needs mm -hmm. lots of Diagize, <laughs> whether you support. like it or not. Um, and so... Well, we have to remember that our systems are connected. Yes, So that's because right. our systems are connected, they affect each other. Yeah. So when we're working on one system, then that system will affect another system and then that system will be like, hey, I need some support too. <laughs> so it's yeah. so it's in so it's interesting how the all the oils in these different kits work together in a beautiful little symphony of that's right. Help. <laughs> I'm Beverly Carter and I am a farm junkie. Thank you for joining me at the Highland Flats Farm here in Naples, Idaho. Are you a farm junkie? Do you have photos and videos of you at Young Living Farms? We'd love to see them. Send them to info at thatoilshow.com. Hello everyone, welcome to Pro Tips. Pro! Yes, we're, we're pros. pros. You know what, we're pros. I mean, we've been using these Young Living Essential Oils for a long time. More than a decade. Don't say exactly how many. Because I'm not old enough to be in Young Living that long. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> July 2006 for me. August 2006. Okay, so me. it's been a long time and we've learned lots and lots of tips. Lots. And so we're here to share some with you. And um, for those that are pretty new to using their Young Living Essential Oils, usually we get the questions of, how do I use them? Wait, wait. <laughs> how, how do you use what them? Do what do I do with yes. them? And so today we're going to talk about using your essential oils and specifically topical usage is what we're talking about today. And so a lot of times, you know, people wonder, can I just put them on straight or do I need to dilute it? Mm -hmm. A lot of times out there, people hear like, oh, you have to dilute oils and you have to use a high dilution, a dilution ratio. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, you don't have to dilute all of them? It's not required. No. I never dilute an oil, but I, I, I feel like I'm really tough. <laughs> I can take it all. But I do know people yeah. who have sensitive skin and sensitivity issues, and I don't want them to be uncomfortable with the oils because I want yeah. them to use them. And, you know, if, you're, if you use it and it's uncomfortable, you're going to hesitate to use it again, and we don't want that. So I'd rather you dilute and use the oils. And you know what? Our Young Living Essential Oils, they are very different. Yes. They are very different. They're very pure, concentrated. The high quality. Mm -hmm. And so we can use um, a lot of the essential oils just directly on. You start with one drop. I always say go low, low and, and slow. slow. So use one drop. You can start using it um, on your feet and then put mm -hmm. your socks on. Um, but, you know, if you have... I always tell people, if they don't know where to put an oil, put it on your feet. That's right. Especially... Sorry, just another little tip. If you don't really like the smell, if it's too strong for you, put on your feet, put on your socks. Boom. You're getting all the benefits of there the oil. Go. And yeah. There you go. So now if you have a specific area you need to put the oils on, like if you have a sore muscle after a workout, um, a lot of people like Panaway, mm -hmm. the blend Panaway. And so like put it right on that muscle. Now, um, and if, but if you're concerned of it being spicy or, you know, or your skin is too sensitive because you've never used any of the Young Living Essential Oils, um, well, you can do something called a patch test. Yeah. Now, personally, I've never done a patch test. I just use them and it's like, oh, that's a little spicy. So I'm gonna use some V6 organic olive oil and then I put it on and, and it cools off. But- Which is a great tip. You yeah. can add the carrier or after you add the oil and it does slow down the absorption. So it's the works, but- and, and with that, I'm going to add this little thing on. It's like oregano, for example. Our oregano essential oil, it is very, very spicy mm -hmm. to use topically. And what makes it spicy is those oil molecules are so super tiny, and, they're, and they are penetrating through the layers of the skin so fast it's creating friction. friction. And so to slow that friction down, you take 
a fatty oil mm -hmm. molecule mm -hmm. that grabs that essential oil molecule and slows down the rate of absorption, thus making it much more comfortable. Right, yeah. cooling it down. So if you've got an oil on and you're like, oh man, that was so hot, so spicy, um, or it's too tingly or something, grab some coconut oil or some olive oil, make sure it's organic, or your Young Living V6. This is a carrier oil complex um, that they have. And just add that on there and you should feel great immediately. Yeah. So now with that patch test, you can put like a drop of oil. I've got some cinnamon bark. Cinnamon bark's pretty it's spicy. spicy. Mm -hmm. My skin's pretty used to the oils, yeah. <laughs> but you can take a drop and you can patch test on a sensitive part of your skin. So like on the inside of your forearm, on the inside um, of your upper arm, um, put a drop and just kind of wait and see what happens. If it feels a little, maybe a little itchy, spicy, cooling or whatever, then okay, again, take your fatty oil, put it on there and dilute it. And then maybe for that oil, if you're needing to use it topically, you can actually make a roller. roller bottle. Yes, a roller bottle. I love these roller bottles. Young Living, we just got these free in, in a free with purchase. And I love, I love the free with purchase. You know, I'm always adding stuff to my cart yes. so I can get everything free that can happen because that's just more cost effective for Beverly's that's right. budget. <laughs> that's right. And every month Young Living has a gift with purchase mm -hmm. and you can put the roller um, tops and pop them on a bottle. Yeah. But if you're needing to dilute something, um, maybe you're making a roller for your children. Yeah. So for kids, yeah, we go low and slow with them, dilute a little bit, use it on them, see how they do. And so whether you've got the Young Living roller bottles that you might have gotten for free, or maybe you purchased some on, on online, a quick tip to take the, the roller top off is use the cap. Use your cap. Doop, and it will come off. I'm trying not to fling it. She's trying it. not to fling it around. I, I have <laughs> flung it places that it didn't need to be, and She's I have to find it. Famous for flinging. Yes, for, yes. But anyway, I got this part off, so then, um, and I'm not gonna make one right now, but you would pour the V6 in there, and then you would put your drops of oil in that, and there's your little roller you roll bottle. It, roll it wherever That's you want. Right. It's already diluted. Everybody can use it. Yes. Kids, adults, everything. Yes, and now, you know, I, I was thinking about, you know, people that are brand new to Young Living Essential Oils and using the oils. And I know, Beverly, you give a lot of Young Living raindrops. This is our raindrop technique kit. Yep. And in a nutshell, it's nine Young Living essential oil blends and singles placed along the feet and the spine mm -hmm. for all sorts of wonderful reasons. And you give, you're certified in it. I am, and I, I was adding it up. I give more than 100 a year. That's amazing. Every year. That's amazing. So, so, so sometimes. It makes me tired of thinking about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it is wonderful. It is. And Great. so sometimes you have somebody that's never used an yes. essential oil, never using yes. Young Living essential oil. Mm -hmm. And so what's one of your and best I tips? I want to be really careful with those people because I never want somebody's first raindrop to be a negative experience. Yeah, whether them, they're uncomfortable or something. I don't want them, to have, don't want them to have a spicy mark or anything. Yeah. So, yeah, we do, the, we do the patch test to see if they yeah. really need Oh, and you, by the way, you know, it's been a few minutes and there's nothing here, but yeah. you know, you'd know pretty quickly. You would. It, but anyway. You can tell pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. But if, if somebody it. really, really sensitive skin and the past chest showed that or, or they just let me know that ahead of time, I will layer a V6, just a layer along the spine because the raindrop technique is oils on the feet and the spine. And I don't usually layer on the feet because the feet are just super tough. The skin on the feet. There's no don't spice usually. receptors yes. on your feet. But I'll layer it on the back so that, the, so that they have a nice, gentle raindrop experience. And the one thing that I always do with all of my receivers or my raindrops is I give them sulfurzyme. So this has uh, the MSM. Mm -hmm. You're always better explaining what's in here than me. Okay, well, in a nutshell, this is organic MSM. It's sulfur, not to be confused with sulfa. Yeah. They're two totally different things. Sulfa is synthetic and most people are allergic. Sulfur is, is something that's found in every, almost every living organism, but especially in plants, it's in people. And so um, this is a dietary supplement and it has some wolfberry powder in it. It. Um, it's great to support the immune system, to support the body's natural response to inflammation, um, and then also it just supports detox pathways. Yes. So the practical and that's the use one. for why I use it is I can give someone two of these capsules before a raindrop, and then we have 
no issues. Yeah, they have no, you know. Yeah, you don't feel uncomfortable they, if your body's trying to detox, right. you know, so mm-hmm. fast because the oils are giving the and green light. we also light. tell them lots and lots of water. If you know you're detoxing, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots yeah. of water. It needs to annoy you how many times you have to go to the bathroom. That's how much water. Yes. Not just here and there, but enough that you're like, oh my gosh, I have to go again. That's how much yeah. water you need. Or you can sweat. Sweating out is a great way to get detox, and that would be like working out in the yard till you get a good sweat going, or if you have access to a sauna, that's an amazing thing, but you need to either sweat it out or pee it out. Sorry <laughs> yeah. for that, but that's just the truth. It's all right. And uh, because if you don't do one of those things, it will, your skin will try to detox, and that's when you might break out in a rash or because or, it's trying to come through the skin, and that's not comfortable. Nobody wants to do that. So we want to sweat it out or we want to pee it out. Yeah. Yeah, and then and you know the oils are really great at giving your body that green light to yes. flush the stuff out that doesn't belong. Oh my gosh! And so just like if you went to get a massage or go to the chiropractor, they'd say drink lots and lots of water. You're about to do something really healthy for your body, so let's support the body to get the junk out as quick and as effective as yes. we can. And you always feel so much better on the yes. other side of it. That's right. So, yes, so I the love it. very last thing that I want to talk about is photosensitivity. It's very important to talk about. Yes. So the citrus oils um, are, you'll see some warnings. Oh, this is photosensitive. Make sure not to put this oil on and go right into the sun. So uh, here's how I like to explain it. Citrus oils like orange and lemon and lime and even bergamot. Brought the bergamot People don't out realize bergamot is a citrus. Actually, it is a citrus and it's actually the most photosensitive of all the oils we have. So it's good to know. Yeah, so what does that mean? So let me tell you what yeah. that means. It's as if there's all these little microscopic magnifying glasses in the oil. So when the sun hits the oil on your skin, it's like magnifying the sun on your skin. And so you could end up, and I don't think we can see it here on the camera, but I actually, for the first time in 17 years, mm-hmm. um, I had put some uh, an oil blend that I made with some citrus oils um, using it as a perfume, and I put it on my wrist. I don't even think you can see some discoloration. Maybe you can. And I got like this weird I tan. See a little bit, I can see the little but tan here. Might not be able to but do it. and it didn't bother me. But some people are really sensitive mm-hmm. to that, and it, it could kind of, you know, kind of hurt. And so, here's what you do with any of your citrus oils. Put it where the sun don't shine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only where the sun don't shine. Or just put it on. If there's a part of your skin that you need it, um, and, and it would be something that would be exposed to the sun, um, put it on before you go to bed. Yeah. Um, but again, just put it where the but sun don't, don't shine. Don't put it on and, and go right outside. No, outside. no. Mm-hmm. And so it, it might not be comfortable. Some people, like this is the first time this has ever happened. And I'm sure I've probably done something like that before. I actually have never had it happen to me either. Yeah, so some like, people, it, it just, they'll, yeah. they'll put on orange oil straight up and go outside and they're fine. But don't, don't do that. Depends on your skin. I guess it just depends <laughs> on the yeah. person. Yeah. But anyway, these are all good. What I like to say uh, common sense usage yes, yes. and these pro tips that, that everybody learns along the way. And now they've now you learned know. them. <laughs> yeah, now you know. Hello, my fellow crunchy friends. Some people tend to think we are a little nutty when it comes to our health. And to them, I would like to say, yes, yes, we are. Stay with me for a minute as I guide you through cracking into your source of stress and letting go as you place a drop of YL's frankincense essential oil on your big right toe, your big right thumb, and your big right ear. Remember, the nuttier the person, the stronger the result. Now that's my kind of crunchy. Ah, all better. And then from the next steps, from there, in uh, putting your loyalty rewards orders together, make sure you're getting your Ningxia Red. You know, your Ningxia Red juice, this is our oil-infused juice drink. 
that supports your immune system. It's great for every single cell. It's an antioxidant. It's a water soluble antioxidant. Every cell of every organ of every body system <laughs> needs your Ningxia Red. And so if you're like, I don't know what I'm gonna get on Multi Rewards, I wanna start with these oils and kinda go slower and get used to them, that's okay. That's great, get your Ningxia Red. You know, one to two ounces a day. These are the packets, we also have bottles. Our next episode is gonna highlight Ningxia Red, so make sure you watch yeah. and tune in. Um, but that is has been a staple in every single yes. Loyalty Rewards order for me and my family mm -hmm. for 17 years now. And when we run out or we don't have it for whatever reason, we feel a difference. Yes. Yeah. With it, we have more energy. Mm -hmm. We have um, just more focus, there's more stamina, and you're gonna learn all about that <laughs> coming up really soon. But our oil-infused life with Young Living, we have so many products mm -hmm. for every aspect of our lives infused with these powerful essential oils. And I know you're absolutely gonna love your journey, your Young Living journey. So what other things do y'all like to put? One last little go around. What things do you like to have in your loyalty rewards orders? What's a staple well, number for you? One, yeah, I was about to say, the number one thing that gets added to now my, my downline, my people that I bring in, my family, my new family, is Progestins Plus because mm -hmm. it supports the endocrine system for women and it's just a powerhouse and it's, I mean, it's an immediate, it's one of those immediate, you feel it immediately. Yeah. And so this is actually now, with all, all the people that I'm teaching and bringing in, this is the first thing they add to their loyalty rewards orders is, is the Progestins Plus. I so. know, Wendy is like, <laughs> yes, 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 ma'am, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma yes, every, every <laughs> new person that you're, assigned, well, you're helping with now. It's just because every woman, every woman has hormone support issues um, just because the environment we live in. There are so many endotoxins. There's yes. so many um, endocrine disruptors, things that like drink out of a plastic cup, you know, and I think we eat like a teaspoon of plastic a month or oh, something no. terrible. Yeah. Like the, that's what they say. So, but those things go in and get in our estrogen um, receptor sites and they clog them up and then our real estrogen tries to get in and can't. And, you know, anyway, everything gets all wonky. So, uh, this supports your system, helps balance things out, and I've just seen it just um, a lot of people. Talking. I know a lot of people. Yeah. Just That's all you talking. There's like so, many, yeah. so many women. I <laughs> some more. <laughs> There's no reason you should have horm big hormonal moodiness. There's no reason you should be feeling, you know, cramps and things like that because those are natural processes in a woman's body, but it's a, you know, a progesterone imbalance and so this just balances you out and you feel amazing and you'll never want to be without it again <laughs> so every, i just start people off i'm like listen I, right here yeah i don't i don't know about this but is that progestin's uh, aphrodisiac because <laughs> my husband loves it on me and the answer would i'm be just yes. saying and the answer is yes and the answer is yes is it really my husband does love okay uh, progestin's well, plus on me too so if y'all want to spice it up <laughs> There you <laughs> go. Well, on that note, <laughs> that's a, that would be an oil infused life. Right there. Ooh, there, you there, you there you go. Oh my goodness. Did well, we, did we say our oils are versatile? <laughs> There's a reason we love them. <laughs> There's a reason we love them. And I'm so excited for this season because we've got so much more to come. So stay tuned every single month and we're going to continue to talk about all of these amazing Young Living essential oil infused products that, that Young Living has to offer us for a, a wonderful, vibrant, healthy life. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching That Oil Show. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so you can catch new episodes every first Tuesday of the month. And if you enjoyed learning about these amazing products and want some of your own, reach out to the person who shared That Oil Show with you.